our next story big events happening at expo this month which is november in case you were wondering or didn't know it's november now expo 2020 has officially had over 3 million visitors since it opened and just over a month ago and there has been no shortage of events taking place with over 60 live shows happening each day it can be overwhelming knowing what's happening and what you can attend but you we've got you covered here are our top picks for the events taking place at expo this month So, first of all, as you're aware, Riverdance is going on. Could not be more excited about it. This, of course, is the world-class show, a uh, theatrical show that blends traditional Irish music and dance. And uh, not only did it happen at Expo, but we also had the team come in here into the office and do a little show for us, which was just fantastic. And I went down and I saw the live show down at Expo. And it's such, um, I spoke about it on the show before, but it's, it's a lot of fun. And after, uh, so after the concert, I think it, it's running every day, right? It's running, there's specific days for it. Um, I think it's running most days for three full weeks. Okay, so uh, the performance happened last week. And since then, people have been so excited. Like I, I was seeing Irish villages uh, stories and they just have like stories of people uh, doing the river dance outside there, <laughs> outside the Oh, food you food would area. be, you'd be inspired because it's, that's how everyone wants to do it and then you no one can recreate it because what they do is so skilled um, oh. but for a proper Irish experience and expo is bringing you that experience that actually flying there go into Irish village have some Irish food and watch river dance it's gonna be a whale of a time it is magical now up next two of the biggest pop stars oh whale of a time like that up next two of the biggest pop stars in the Arab world Nancy Ajram and Raghab Alama will be performing as part of Infinite Night series on November 12th. Best part is if you're unable to make it, their performances will be live streamed from the Al Wasl Dome so everyone can be a part of the magical night. It's literally a superstar extravaganza because first you have that music and also in case you're unaware, the one and only absolute legend Usain Bolt will also be in attendance at Expo this Saturday. for a short run, uh, Saturday, November 13. It's arranged by PepsiCo, it's all for a great cause, and they'll be raising funds for Al Noor Rehabilitation and Welfare Association for People of Determination. You can run with Usain Bolt free of charge, uh, but those taking part are encouraged to donate to this organization. How epic. I mean, they're having a legend come down and run with you. It does not get better than that. Like they just have planned everything out so well at Expo. And these are just a few of the things happening this month. To find out more, you can head over to the Expo 2020's official website to get the full schedule or download the Expo 2020 app. That is the biggest help in the world. A fact, especially and even just navigate and get around. It's, it's great help. Um, before we jump into our next stories, good morning to everyone tuning in on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Jonah gave us a shout out. So good morning to you, Jonah. He said hi, Simran and Casey. Hello. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate your comment. Um, see some questions from Shamir saying, what about future? What about future? What about the, oh, don't you wonder this every day? What about the future? What about the future? <laughs> what is the we future try and live in the now. <laughs> um, well, we do because we're local news, so we can't comment about the future. We can only comment about what we know and what we get directly from government sources. Well, sometimes we know the future, like 2040 plans, urban master plan. Oh, true. Yes. We know things. And then we tell you, and then we all share the future vision together. We get there. This is why I'm dreaming big from a 10 million dirham house. Wow, uh, 10 million. I jumped, yeah, I jumped. Oh my God. Why not? You can dream big. 100 million. Why not? Where did you buy? 100 million would be a lot now, to be honest. Unless okay. I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I need big, not palatial, but I mean, you know. <laughs> Whatever, I'm fine. Whatever. It means, imagine, like, imagine giving that to your mom and being like, this is yours now. She'll just be like, what do I do with this? What would your mom, what would your mom react to it? Oh, she would love it. Uh-huh. There'd be like a mansion or... You can own a city. <laughs> compound area. You're little, well, could you with, with that with ten million? I have no idea really. Could, you own, terms a of city? Is, you, like, could you own a city with ten million? A no. city? No. 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 no, no you're no, actually no. You're, you're probably gonna buy like ten houses and one. Would you go for a big villa or a really seriously cool modern, like three-story penthouse? That. In downtown, I wouldn't go for it. I'd go for the I'm penthouse. Not, I grew up. I grew up in a villa, so I was. Uh, the lizards and spiders and ants. What about you? 
I think Villa. Like, I love the idea of a modern penthouse, but I think Villa. Um, what would you guys, so in terms of the future, <laughs> we're dreaming big. What about you guys? Stay tuned. Our guest today has been dubbed Iraqi Superman. We're going to have him joining us in the studio very, very shortly, Captain Fareed. So stay tuned for that. Bye for me. <laughs>